relaxing. Shh. This is a new episode of uh, Local Legend. It's a live stream for the next 20 years. I'm just gonna lay here. <laughs> All right, anything Brad for the art. A mushroom. Anything for the art. <laughs> Show me around town, yeah. Holy sh! <laughs> when I think of trout fishing, never once did I think of going to Cape Cod to catch trout. Then I met Jeff Clayton. How the hell do you say your name? Is it Jeff? Is it Jeff? It's Jeff. It's Jeff. It's Jeff. Owner of the fly fishing outfitter Brackish Flies. Loved how he reached out to me out of the blue. Social media can be a beautiful thing, and this is a perfect example why. Instant friends, instant connections. Before you know it, we were out in the woods. I grew up in Central Mass, but in this area is where I learned to catch brook trout. Cool. I met this guy through the fly fishing subreddit of all places. Sure. This is a native fishery, right? Native Americans and people have been fishing this system for ever. Forever. Since the yeah, last since, ice age. Yeah, sure. Wow. What kind of a fly thing are you doing? So we can... we're using that to wait. Yeah, heck yeah. I'm imitating small bait fish because that's cool. that's, that's what's, what's around. Me, yeah. That thing's naughty looking. It's called the one-eyed poacher. It's like a piece of jewelry. What kind of feather is that? Lemon mallard flank feather. Sexy. And the body actually kicks to a sun. So nice it's like action. a little wounded bait fish. Oh, deadly. Yes. The one-eyed poacher, what a name. I mean, that was I, my name I heard. <laughs> Settle down. So fly fishy, this is what's going on right now. I'm new to fly fishing. I love the poetry of the cast. As soon as it kind of clicked, you know, in my head, and then like, I got a nice, and then just like, it's a very beautiful way to fish. Jeff does guided tours professionally, but he invited me on this one as a friend to just have a good time. So let's go fishing with good old Jeffy boy, learn about the area he loves so much, and these elusive, beautiful sea run brook trout. The real local legend. Yes, sir. I'm excited. Beautiful morning. Watch your taste. Thanks again for coming out, man, and sharing the spot with me. Where exactly are we? So we're down Cape Cod. We look at our, our handy dandy map of the Cape right here. Mm -hmm. We're we're sort of down here in the armpit, right? Okay. You know, we're on the far side of the bridge. And this is a this is a reserve, correct? You can't go camping in here. You can't harvest the fish in here. Right. These are protected fish, protected waters. It's a very special place. I'm excited to get into where we're going after. The, the native brook trout, right? A smaller, one in my opinion, one of the most beautiful fish I've ever seen, right? They're just like little paintings of color and spots. So these are brook trout, but mm -hmm. they are a little bit more special okay. because of lots and lots of work, time, money. These fish have gained the ability to move with complete connectivity from the freshwater upstream right. to the salt water sure. all the way downstream. And they can become sea run brook trout. And that's what we're targeting. That's what we're going to try and find. Someone with a little bit more chrome in those scales. The color changes and can change back in less than 24 hours. No kidding. Wow. See that dark pocket over there in the corner? And that's where they'll be. Just Real holding pocket. them like a bank account. Brook trout bank account. Mind the mud. It does sink a little bit. You're a very polite guy. It's how I was raised. Thanks, Jeff's mom. <laughs> Thanks, Mrs. Klein. How you doing, Ian? All right? In the water, we're making progress. Shh. <laughs> you ever play stream temp prices right? No, but I'm good at it. Can I feel it first? Yeah, well, obviously. Closest guess without going over. Take your time. I'm gonna say 67. 67. I'll tell you, that's high. Mm. That's very high. Mm. I'll let you re guess if you okay. want. <laughs> I think it's that's way mm. high. It's below 60. It's not higher than 57, no, 58, 59, no way. 58. I'm gonna take 57, moment of truth. 56, wow. I would lay in that. That is right where we want it. For small streams like this, where the environment is more fragile, I hard cut off at 65. What's he, what's chasing him in here besides us? Birds, otters, stuff like that? Um, we don't, I don't think we get too many otters down well, here. River otters, no way, there's gotta be. That's where I'd be if I was a little them. squirrely river otter. So we're gonna talk a little bit about the cast and about the retrieve. So just like you're doing a normal bow and arrow, first I've thing you wanna do, step one, pinch this under one finger. Pinch so you me. got the line control. Two, point the tip of the rod where you want the fly to go. All right. Three, pull back whoa, on the rod. Whoa, 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 whoa. See, Straight see up how bow much and I'm arrow. Bending? Yep, and you wanna bend it up towards you because Holy you know, think like It's right? brilliant. Nice and easy. 
up towards you. There you go, baby. Can you both yeah. do one at the same time? Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Try to make it look like Lord of the Rings-esque. Three, yeah. two, one, release. Perfect cast on both, Love it. both ends. That's the shot. Line tension is paramount. Okay. You ready? A little bit faster on your strips. Oof. Okay. Try again. Too much muscle. Rush the cast a little bit. Two steps closer. Pause. Brad, I think you need to do the a little bit. Yeah. Right. You're rushing. Maybe more slack? Yep. Keep coming back. Keep coming back. Stop. Now, now forward and down. Flawless. See how nice and straight your line is? And we're in, it's That's game it. time. These fish are freaking fast. Oh, uh, these zippers, yeah. Those lasers, uh, right? On and off. Legend has it, these locals are faster than lightning. You like my hat? I feel like I like it. Sometimes I feel like I'm like Blossom's brother. You remember that show? Blossom and like Gilligan had like a cousin. <laughs> All right, Skipper. But I found it. It might even be a, a woman's. I'm not sure I found it. It's from Zara. That looks real fishy. Uh huh. Yeah, dude, I'm stoked to catch, uh, catch some fish, hopefully, or at least. Oh, we're we're gonna get them today. Yo, no I wish you didn't that. say that. I, I I have a superstitious fisher. You jinxing us, Jeff. Sorry, I shut my mouth. You better stop fishing, cause you're gonna miss it. Where are you? Yes, you are in there. Mm -hmm. Yup, yup. Oh, oh, oh. Is that a fish? No, that's a stick. God damn it. it. God damn it. Well, we'll see how it goes. As long as you just stop and jinx at us. Come on now. Come on, fish. You know, I think we'd be doing all right if Jeff didn't jinx us before. It is, it is guarantees. Yeah, that's what I get. Oh, is that a snag? Oh, fuck. <laughs> Rude. Oh, you bitch. Oh, bitch. I've seen a lot of good men get skunked. A lot of good men, damn good fishermen than me, get skunked with the old guarantee jinx. Bugger. Bugger. Come on, baby. Oh, that was it. That Did was, you that see was, it? That was, I, saw, I saw the fight. Oh, here. try again. They jinxed us. Okay. We're out of here. Yeah. Keep it moving. Son of a bitch. What's this yellow thing? This is our portable pit tag reading wand. Passive integrated transponder. I've been saying it for years. They put one in my head. Let's see. Yeah, I'm not Let's getting deep up. off yet. Once upon a time in the early 1800s, southeastern Massachusetts was actually a popular fishing destination. Rumor has it you could catch 100 plus wild brookies in one day back then. And like Jeff said, native populations had been fishing there for thousands of years before we brought over our smallpox and really f***ed it all up. Then the Industrial Revolution happened. People started constructing railroads and dams and factories for, I don't know, gramophones? What else were they buying back then? Coca-Cola with cocaine in it? I don't know. Anyways. The habitat was completely degraded and the native fish species were barely hanging on. In the 1970s, we started to realize that we were screwing the pooch. See, the brook trout are picky little dudes and they can only survive in really clean water at the right temperature. They're a bellwether. If the brook trout start dying off, it's a warning that the rest of the ecosystem is following suit. Ever since, conservation organizations like these have been partnering with the mass fisheries and wildlife to restore their habitat. In the last 30 years, these groups have had huge success. And the brookie population is seven times what it was in the 80s. Good job, boys and girls. That sounds fun stupid. <laughs> Jeff and his network are continuing this important work today. So that's why Jeff has his handy little tagger-ma-jobber. It's the same kind of chip that they put in your easy pass because science is friggin' cool. The Department of Fisheries and Wildlife with some volunteers will come through and they do something called electrofishing. This big Ghostbusters style backpack that has a car battery on it. There's this long probe. A live current is put into the water. And it doesn't hurt them. The electrofishing, no. Literally, as soon as he turns off the current, they're flip flopping around just like normal. Oh, really? We scoop them. We check and see if they're tagged. Ones that aren't tagged receive tags. You have to have special training to do that. Steve does it. The pin mm -hmm. is about the size of a grain of rice. We then log and say, okay, fish was given tag number X on this date. Oh, wow. When I'm out in the field like this, 
we get more points of data. We're seeing how they move approximately where and when. Oh, but shit. there's still so much that we don't know about these fish. Sounds it, man. I mean, we've been putting in the effort. Oh. Fishing's tough like this. Nothing gets it going like the fish whistle. Fish whistle. Are you not familiar with the concept of the fish whistle? Mm -mm. Well, allow me to induct you properly. This is good, I'll be right here, right in the duck. <laughs> oh, like a cat. It's comfy as oh. back here, huh? Yeah, this is nice right here, oh. That's how I want to be buried. No caskets, dig a nice hole, put me in a burlap bag naked, let the worms, I want to be returned back to the soil, not turned into uh, a contained trapped ball of goo in a stainless steel box. God, that sounds horrible. Have you ever seen the show Six Feet Under? And if you got HBO. HBO, I got it, man. Hey, <laughs> for you, friend. Yeah, for all of us. <laughs> <laughs> Shove his limp weights down and there. The moderator just screams out, we got, got wings in the fish. There we go. Oh! <laughs> hey, listen, if you're gonna cheat, put some f***ing effort into it. I try. <laughs> At least try, get clever. Be a real criminal. Ice cubes or something. Dissolving something. Not lead eggs. Not literally a fucking fillet from another fish. Oh my god. Wait, a fillet? The guy, you know, you just see him cutting into these bags, Yeah, yeah. And he just pulls out weight after weight. And he's just, look at this, walleye fillet. Stop. I'm dead serious. They've shoved up in fillets. Literally, <laughs> with the scales still on, walleye fillet. <laughs> yeah, them walleyes, they're good at, they're cannibalistic. They'll fillet them with their own teeth. Swallow clean fillets down, I heard. Oh, wow. Yeah, talk well, about the scales I mean, of justice. But wait a minute. They about decided it. to do it uh, just for the halibut. Oh, oh, we still got, we still got some hope in us. I mean, oh, yeah. You know, we blew the whistle here and, uh, I think we're ready to party. I'm ready to party. I've got good feelings about the pools down below. Yeah? Yeah. I don't. You don't? No, I'm just Some reverse fish oh, psychology. No. Yeah, no, they're we're fucked. Hey Literally guys. Explosive. Quick intro to this last part. Now, and are we gonna catch one? I don't wanna say it. I wanna say it. We've got we've got some really nice pools coming up with some deeper water. I heard they do the shit ones. <sighs> Ain't no fishing there in 10 years, I heard. At the end of the day, we can always do the old loser's war cry. You know, it's not about catching fish. It's coming out here with your friends, enjoying nature, exactly. learning some stuff, exactly. having some conversation. Catching fish is a bonus, right, bud? Exactly. No, I Let's hit the creek with this wholesome we, we, good, we, we wholesome this. content. No, but really. Yeah. <laughs> I just had to see one. No, man, me too. We just need one. Oh, that was a bunk. Stop it. Don't nope. jerk me off. It was a no. Stiff. That was a fucking fish. Nice net. Yeah. Oh yo yo! Oh my Come. god! Oh my fucking god! Oh my god! Get the net! 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 Hook him! Get him! Get him! Yes! Oh my god! Oh my god! Get him in the water. Yeah, look let's at get him back fish, in the water. Get him back huh? in the water. That's priority. Beautiful fish. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> oh! So we're touching them. Wet hand. Or don't Always even touch wet it. hands. Look at that. Look at the beauty. colors. Ooh. Good snag, chef. Right after the. You gotta smoke a joint to catch brookies. You gotta smoke a joint. Everyone knows that. What the f were we doing? I was trying to be polite. I didn't want to just like, hey man, let's get fing stoned right away. Good job, Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> we were just talking so much. And now we get to do the real yeah. fun. The science. Yeah. He's all right, the fish, yeah? Yeah. Nice and easy, never squeezing. You get gentle hands. Whatever you need. Look at that. That's the shot. Look at that. What a fish. Look at the jaw on that thing. He's a beast. Eating machine. Moment of truth. Show me that magic number. Oh my god, his ass. Look at that. That's it. That's the number. He's a tagged fish. He's a tagged fish. Wow. This is Cool. That is a primo example of a colored up male brook trout. Wow, it's like a clownfish. So colored up. So put them right back in, you're getting the release, and we say thank you, fish. Right in thank over you, to the fish. side. Yeah, yeah, hiding. Oh my god, that made my fing day. That Let me tell awesome. you. Excellent, dude. That's the shit that you can't buy. In the words of great Brian Merkel, my friend out in uh where the f 
Fox. He lived Duluth. Trout, superior freshwater fish. Only thrives in highly oxygenated, clean water. Nice you work. You can't do it better than that. Everything else is cream. <laughs> exactly. Skunks out, junks out. Anything can happen. That's right. Goddamn flute whistle. The flute whistle. The fish whistle. <laughs> the flute whistle. <laughs> I said that like three times already. <laughs> You think there's fish still in the system? He hit just behind these branches here. Really? It's it's a challenging cast, but there could very easily be another fish. There you go. Up, 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 up. Oh, no, 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 no. Got him. <laughs> well done. Nice little pissed off guy. Same beautiful belly. colors on him. Look at him. the belly on that one. Wow. Chubby. Oh, we gotta scan him. He likes eating. Mm. Gotta love that barbless hook, right? Amen. Right out. Let's see if we got another one. Come on. Negative. No tag. But Look that's awesome. Look at this bad local Larry right here. Legendary fish. Look at that thing. Absolute. Yeah, look how full, huh? Absolutely. He's eating. Face up into the current. Thank you, fish. Thank you, fish. Love it. <laughs> Love it. Congratulations. So awesome, dude. Congratulations. Oh, hey, First one in the net. I just love this small tackle. <laughs> Shooting little holes. The best. It's pretty cool, it's man. The best. All right, let's do it again. Right in that dark corner. Perfect. Sheesh. Laser line, brother. Freaking money. I'm so happy with how well you're doing on that cast, bro. Thank you. You're really getting it. Ooh, that works. And don't you feel like a cool mother? Out. Yeah, Sick, that's dude. that's what I'm saying. Did you see fish? No, I just thought I saw the water move in a weird way. I don't want to say it. Say it. Careful about letting out more line. He'll probably be right there. Don't let out. Don't let out. That's a good place to stop. Start stripping. Give it good speed. Remember, he wants to run for it. Yup, 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 oh my god, keep him tight, keep him tight. Don't, not too fast, not too fast, whoa, 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 you got it, you got it. That's yeah. it, <laughs> nice that's man. it, that's <laughs> it, baby, it is a nice I one. loves it. <laughs> Almost yeah. like we knew he was there. Yeah. <laughs> Can you notice any differences? Particularly the head shape. It's rounder. Right, female? See, you fucking know what you're talking about. That's exactly right. Well done. Yeah, buddy, hell well, yeah. Done. That was a good plug Thank in you there. Fish. I saw the water move in a fishy way. In a fishy way. I love fishy water. They just, you know, they're not morning fish. It's fun. A lot of fun, dude. Scene's turn. Yeah. It's wild turkeys, bud. <laughs> what a fun way to fish. That's it. Trout, man. I mean, listen, catching big fish is cool, but catching these little beautiful dialed-in native wild fish you know in these systems that most people would just walk right past it's kind of hard to beat man i could see how you really fell in love with it what an epic day dude we're on the ground like kids you know like all of a sudden time stops you know and that's all we're doing is catching that little fish in nature here so thank you for sharing with me man and teaching me a little bit about this fishery this area the species this local native brook trout i'm walking away a better fisherman and i learned stuff and like that's to me that's kind of what this is all about so it was a pleasure having you on as a local legend and introducing these local legend fish. And just thank you again, brother. Buddy. Yeah. Couldn't have asked for a better day. Hell yeah, dude. And next time we'll get you down by me and uh, we'll grab some buddies and we'll try to catch some, some brookies by me. Hell yeah. Be a bud, dude. I we're, love it. We're friends now. Fucking A. Heck yeah. Ugh. Top 10 day. Let me give you a flyback. This thing was. Uh, was a killer today. You're an artist with it. Skip it. That's that one's yours, and I'm even. I'm giving you a few well, more. Yeah. Got the one-eyed poacher. Dude, this should keep you sorted. Hey, thank you, man. Thank you. For yeah, right on, dude. This was. It was the best. What the doctor ordered. That's right. That's right.